Hey all, welcome to Bible Bites. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that we hear a lot about these days, and that's fake news. But more specifically, I want to look at scripture and find where the most trusted source of information for the truth about us is. So, let's dive on in. So like I said in the intro, today we're going to be looking at where the most trusted source of information that we can find for the truth about us is. And there's actually a passage in scripture that directly addresses it, and it's Psalm 1. Now I'm going to read the whole psalm, it's not very long, it's only six verses, so it's going to be up on the screen now so you can read along with me. In Psalm 1, starting in verse 1, it says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the ways of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. So from this passage in Psalms, I think we can see two possible outcomes when we get advice. The first is the outcome from when we get advice from the world, we'll call it, from, from outside sources other than God. And the second outcome is when we get our wisdom, when we get our advice straight from God and straight from Scripture. So the first of those outcomes, I, I want to ask first the question, when you are facing a hard decision, when you're facing a moral crisis, when you're sitting and thinking, is this sin or is this okay? Who are the first people you go to? Do you ask your best friend? Do you maybe ask your spouse? Do you ask Christians? Do you ask non-Christians? Do you maybe ask your pastor for advice? Well, I'll tell you that every single one of those sources, they all have one thing in common. And do you know what that is? Well, Romans 3.23 tells us that all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. You heard that right. Even Christian sources can tell you the wrong advice. They can tell you the wrong truth about yourself. Well, don't worry because we do have hope. And that's the second outcome that I want to look at. And that second outcome is the wisdom that comes from God. In Hebrews 13, 8, it tells us Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's not going to change. His advice isn't going to change. And his advice isn't something that's based on the wisdom of the world. We see in the psalm that if we follow the way of God, we're going to have all of these amazing attributes that are applied to our lives when we follow his wisdom rather than the wisdom of man. I want to read those verses one more time. Just in the middle of that passage where it says that he, now this is a person that's following the wisdom of God. He's like a tree planted by streams of water and yields its fruit in its season. Its leaf does not wither and all that he does, he prospers. Doesn't that sound awesome? Doesn't that sound like something we want applied to our lives? We talked earlier in a few Bible Bites ago, the idea of bearing fruit and how important it is in this season to really be focused on our purpose as Christians to be bearing fruit, to be multiplying. And this, I think, is an awesome parallel in the same analogy of being a tree and bearing fruit. You're going to bear your fruit in your season when you're walking in the counsel of God. So that's my encouragement for you today. I know it's a little shorter than normal, but I really just wanted to dig into the psalm and see where should we be getting our news from. Is the fake news that the world is saying about us and our decisions and our choices, is that the way we should follow? Even if it's advice that a Christian is giving us, should we not first fact check that with what God says about us and what God says about our lives? So I want to encourage you in that today. Make time for that every single day to get into God's word, to hear about the truth that he says about you, and to be able to have a filter for what the world says about us and the world says about how we should live our lives and what we should be doing. So especially in this season, I just encourage each of us to dig into God's word and be like that tree planted by streams of water. 
Well, thank you so much for checking out today's Bible Bite. I'd encourage you, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, to do that. And like the video and comment below if this is something that encouraged you. And we hope you join us again next time on Bible Bites.